Hello, this is Hao Yili. I'm going to present our work. The title is Amashika Intelligibility Enhancement for Speech and Noise Using Genomic Adversary Network Based Machine Learning. And this is the outline of this presentation. So, what is uh, speech intelligibility enhancement? We all know the intelligibility of natural speech will be degraded in noise environments. The objective of our work is to modify a speech signal to make it more intelligible when masked with sounding noise. In addition, we have the IMS energy and duration of speech unchanged with uh, before and after of modifications. More specifically, let's suppose a scenario where both noise W and reverberation H exist, as can be seen in this figure. To simplify the problem, we assume noise and reverberation are known, or at least can be estimated. Then our target can be formulated to, mod to modify the input signal S to make the final observed signal Y at the listener end to be more intelligible. And Y can be represented as this equation, and here the S2 denotes a modified speech. And uh, we don't change the IMS and the duration of speech because we have an uh, energy constraint. Before introducing our work, I also want to briefly introduce Hanukkah Challenge since we participated in this challenge and part of our results are from the evaluation feedbacks. The task of intelligibility enhancement was held as an open challenge in this year and it's called Hanukkah Challenge. Organizers provided a data set to evaluate algorithms the provided speech materials include metric sentence in three languages. The noise was recorded in cafeteria, which is complex and non-stationary. And there are nine evaluation conditions for each algorithm, three SNR levels in three reverberation levels. Evaluations were done by a large-scale listening test, which included many native listeners. In this work, we use their public did set and listening test platform to evaluate our proposed methods. Next, let's talk about uh, methods. There are many methods to enhance intelligibility, and the general idea shared in a bunch of methods is to reallocate the speech energy on time frequency domain in such a way to boost the acoustic cues that are perceptually crucial. But the question is, how can we know what kind of acoustic cue is crucial? So in practice, uh, we have to rely on some objective metrics to guide us design modification algorithms. Some typical uh, objective metrics include SDOI or speech intelligibility index. Once we have and confirm these metrics are reliable, we can then design our algorithm to optimize a specific metrics. For example, a method named OPTSI was designed as a LTI filter to maximize the SI metric. The optimal filter can be derived in a closed form solution. So this is a good method, but still has several drawbacks. First, the SI they are optimizing is not very reliable. It means it didn't show high correlations with real subjective human listening tests. And second, optimizing SI doesn't mean another metric such as STI can be op optimized as well. But if we want to uh, optimize multiple metrics simultaneously, it's very difficult or even impossible. Third, uh, in order to design such an algorithm, we have to look inside the implementation details of SI and make some approximations for mathematic devices. SI is relatively simple, but for those more complex metrics, it's very really hard to find a closed form solution to optimize them. For better performance and avoid too much mathematics, we hereby propose a neural network based intelligibility enhancement system, which is called Intelligibility Metric Gun or I Metric Gun for short. As it's known, a neural network has achieved great success in speech denoising. But so far, very few work applied into intelligibility enhancement. This is because we don't know what kind of speech is perfectly intelligible. For example, for speech denoising, we can simply regard unprocessed clean speech as a target, but we don't have a corresponding ground truth label in this task. Our solution is uh, similar to OPT SRI method discussed before. We will rely on some objective metrics 
That means we are going to modify a natural speech in a way to improve its objective scores. Uh, in our work, we select, selected two metrics. The first one is SIB, and the second one is SSTI. Both of them are reported to be state of the art. And now we have intelligibility metrics. Another problem is uh, in order to build up our neural network based systems, we need to compute gradients from these metrics. However, intelligibility metrics are usually quite complex to analyze. To address this problem, we will regard these metrics as black box functions and introduce an, another neural network to mimic their behaviors. Suppose if this additionally introduced neural network can clone intelligibility metrics very well, we can then use its gradient to update our model easily because the neural network is uh, inherently differentiable. And many deep learning toolkits can help us automatically compute gradients. Very convenient. So this is the overall diagram of our proposed method. It consists of a generator model G and a discriminator D. The G model enhances the speech signal as a intelligibility enhancement module. And on the other hand, D learns to predict the intelligibility scores of a modified speech. Then after that, G can be trained with the guidance of this uh, surrogate. So in the training stage, G model and D model are updated iteratively to make the training process stable. Let's explain it in more details. First, look at the D. It is used to approximate the complex intelligibility metrics. So in this figure, the Q functions represent the intelligibility metrics to be modeled. And in our work, they are SIB and STOI respectively. And uh, the discrim discriminator models tries to accurately predict the score of the modified speech. Then the two scores are computed by Q function. The predicted scores are computed by D. Then the mean score error between these two scores is set as the loss function for training D. On the other hand, the generator is used to modify the natural speech as intelligibility enhancement module. In the training stage, the parameters of D will be fixed and G is trained to uh, reach the intelligibility scores as high as possible. And the higher the score is, the more intelligible the modified speech will be. In this way, we expect the modified speech can be enhanced effectively. Next, uh, uh, more specifically, the generator is composed of two layer by STM. Um, with the output layer during its equation. The output of the generator models actually serve as scale factors, which are point-wise multiplied with the unprocessed input spectrograms to produce an enhanced spectrogram. And the discriminator model is composed of five layers of 2D CNNs. The outputs are predicted intelligibility scores, which range from zero to one. Uh, this means we simply use the sigmoid functions as the output layer for discriminator model. In addition, we will have an energy normalization layer to normalize the enhanced spectrogram because we have energy constraint in this task. Next, uh, let me let me introduce the experiments. We use Harrington Challenge provided German and Spanish sentences as training set. In addition, we selected 1,720 external sentences to augment the data set. The test set includes only the English speech, and each sentence is mixed with noise at different SNR levels from low to high levels. For comparisons, we also selected three existing reference algorithms. They are OptiSI, OptiMR, and SSDRC. Here, SS SSDRC is proved to be state-of-the-art in a previous hurricane challenge. We apply these three reference algorithms and our proposed iMetricGam models to English test set. And we simply disregard reverberation effect in this model. And uh, there are two variants of our proposed method. The first one is denoted as SIB-GAM in which we only optimize SIMB metrics. 
The second one is denoted as Martigan, in which we optimize SIB and ASTOI scores simultaneously. This means the output of D models are two-dimensional. One is for SIB score and the other one is for ASTOI score. And the results are given in this table. From this table, we can see the Martigan outperforms the state-of-the-art SSDRC method in terms of ESTY and SIB scores. And also by considering both SIB and ESTY scores, ESTY can be significantly improved in multi-gun variant with only slightly lower SIB score compared with SIB gun. So this indicates uh, the merit to simultaneously optimize multiple intelligibility metrics. We also uh, have some subjective evaluation results. The subjective evaluations were conducted, conducted by Hadrian Challenge organizers. We returned the modified enhanced speech only. This speech will remixed with noise and reverberation, and then more than 180 listeners participated in the listening test. They were asked to type in what they heard in experiments. After that, what accuracy rate is calculated as a performance measure for intelligibility? The results are given uh, in these figures. We have what accuracy in three languages, English, German, and Spanish. For each language, we have nine conditions, uh, three reverberation conditions, and three SNR levels for each reverberation conditions. So the red line uh, denotes the results for Biometric gun model and the blue line denotes the results for unprocessed plain speech. So, from these figures, we can see the biometric gun models achieve significant intelligibility gains in each language under all SNR and reverberation conditions. Second, even though we disregard reverberation when building our model, it works well in reverberant, reverberant environments, surprisingly. And third, our model is trained using German and Spanish, but it works in English that this indicates good generalization capability of our proposed method. It can generalize well to mismatched language, speaker, and SNR level conditions. Then let's have a listen to some audio samples. First is unprocessed English speech mask in noise. So we apply um, method to enhance this uh, speech. I hope you can uh, somewhat understand what he said after our enhancement. For more audio samples, if you have interest, you can check this website. And we also public our source code and free chain model in this website. And for conclusions, in this work, we propose a metric model to enhance the intelligibility of speech in noise using neural network. Objective results show that our approach outperforms the state-of-the-art SSDRC method in terms of SIB and the ESTOI scores. Then, large-scale formal listening tests show its effectiveness in intelligibility enhancement across different languages and background environment conditions. Here are some reference, and that's all. Thanks for listening.